I think YATS is a fantastic initiative. It's humbling to think that 30,000 plus students from across Odisha are participating. I mean, I come from a country, India is a country of 1.3 billion people of which 600 million are what, under the age of 26. So I think we need more competitions like this. And I think the fact that Tata is doing it, they have organized it phenomenally well. They went to 300 schools, I believe, uh, individually. And this is not even electronic submissions. So I think it's very, very commendable that Tata Steel can pull off an event of this magnitude. And we want more companies to be doing competitions like this, not only in the area of space, but in the area of genetics, in the area of nanotechnology, biotechnology, agricultural technology, clean tech. So we should have more of YATS. I mean, one in Odisha is, is really, I mean, it's a, it's a great, great competition. Yeah, I think my message to the youngsters is you need to think beyond becoming just engineers or doctors or IS officers because the possibilities are endless. So I want them to think of professions that go beyond, you know, the classic three or four professions that parents always want them to pursue. And I think now that they have access to the internet, they have access to social media, they're exposed to a lot more. So I wish they would stretch their minds and look beyond the uh, very routine professions. It's, it's, a, it's not a bad thing to be an engineer or a doctor, but I think you can also be an architect, you can be an archeologist, you can be a geologist. Um, so I think we should, or you can be someone from the arts, you know, pursue dance or uh, visual, visual arts, painting or gaming design. I mean, the options are limitless. So I want our kids to think beyond the classic professions.